Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. <laughs> Brittany. What's up? I want you to understand something, okay? I'm rich! Oh! Okay? I've got 160,000 coins to spend on this episode of Double or Nothing. Do you understand? Yeah! Sure. I don't, you know what? I don't even know what you're saying. Because I don't speak bro. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know. I can't I don't even speak your language anymore. I'm so bred it up! Are you okay? What are you in the hospital for, by the way? So when you go to take a motherfucking shit, nigga, it's called the endless wipes. You gotta keep wiping and 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 wiping. I'm gonna be honest with you. I have no idea what you're saying. I do not speak broke. Okay. Neither do I. So that's awkward. Okay. Okay. Wait. Sorry. I'm making a video, but now I feel bad because you're actually at the hospital. Wiping and wiping and wiping and. Let's get it, boys. Hope you've enjoyed Double or Nothing thus far. This is episode number three. If you haven't been following along, in Double or Nothing, I build a team with my specified coin count. And if I win with that team, I move on to the next episode where the coin count is doubled. We started with 40,000. We moved to 80. Now I'm sitting here at my big boy 160. Moved into the six figures. So if we can build a decent enough squad today to get a dub, next episode will be 320,000. Also, big thanks to Instant Mad coins for getting me the coins for this episode don't give your money to ea go to instantmaddencoins.com instead you can buy madden coins there way better deal than what ea gets you in these bundles use the link in the description and code mmg is 10 percent off now as you guys know my team comes equipped with absolutely nobody on the squad and some people made some good points people were saying hey if you get a rage quit you should get some form of bonus eh, i don't know i don't want this series to be too much like wheel of mutt where we've got all these additional rules i think what we're doing here works out just fine for me so so I'm keeping it like this for now. But if I decide I want to throw a little spice in there, maybe I will. Also, we have a new friend. I don't know if you guys have been introduced to him yet. Uh, that's Tito. He's actually seeking asylum in my home right now. He is currently uh, being investigated by the Russian government for countless, countless war crimes. The stuff Tito's done is virtually unspeakable on a video platform. This video would be taken down. We spoke about Tito's crimes. So I, I'm just giving him a safe place to stay until uh, hopefully he can get extradited or we can ship him off to Tijuana. Boy. Am I right? Okay! 160,000 coins to build a team. I did my math poorly last time. But in the grand scheme of things, I would say that there are roughly 20 very important positions to fill. I mean, I want a starting O-line a quarterback, a halfback, a good wide receiver one, a good tight end. I could get away with no fullback. I could get away with no wide receiver three. On defense, I always need a very good strong safety, a good D line, three good corners, and a good free safety, right? So to keep things simple, let's say there's 20 positions I need to fill and I've got 160,000 coins. That gives me an average of 8,000 coins per player. However, I think we had a very good strategy last episode, which was screw the evenness. We don't believe in a quality here. I haven't believed in equality my whole life. We should go back to the 60s. For the sake of double or nothing, there's one position that is especially important, and that is strong safety. Strong safety is my user. Madden is silly, in my opinion. They make it so middle linebackers don't animate uh, the same way that safeties do, which I really don't like because it basically says that I shouldn't be using middle linebackers at middle linebacker. And, you know, I'm going to play by EA's rules here because I want to get dubs. I want a really good strong safety, and I'm going to spend a lot more than 8,000 coins on him. I just don't know who yet. Now, Von Bell, this is like way too expensive to me, but this isn't insane user 87 speed 88 excel he's 5 at 11 so he's a little short last episode he used kyle duggar who was literally so nasty he was so good now i really love talano hufanga he was a wheel of stud last year and he's had some really good games this year with the niners however one of the best budget users you can get is actually jaron curse jaron curse is six foot four 215 He's not very fast at all, but it's really the six foot four, 215 that makes this such a good card. I'm gonna use it out here. If I'm getting torched on like slant routes and stuff all game, maybe I'll regret this decision, but I really like him, especially at that price. Next thing that's very important is a wide receiver slash tight end who can beat man coverage. Man coverage is hell. We all know that. And I want a super fast stud who's gonna torch some people on corner routes, slant routes, whip routes, stuff like that. Now, here's the unfortunate thing. There's not a single wide receiver in the game who has 86 
six speed or higher is less than 30,000 coins. So I'd either have to spend crazy money on the player or just take what I can get. This is the fastest wide receiver you can get without literally breaking the bank. 85 speed, 6,300 coins. The good news there too is I can also pick up Hollywood Brown, also a cheap 85 speed wide receiver. The next position I really want to take a look at here is tight end. You guys know tight ends are crazy important this year. And one of my favorites is actually a player I used for a long time in my Madden franchise last year on MMG Live. His nickname was Wanu Smith. He's going to be Janu Smith here, but he may not be the biggest tight end. He's 6'3", 248. That's smaller than Megatron. But he does have 85 speed, uh, and I do throw to tight ends a lot, and I still think, you know, his overall size and weight will make him moss most safeties and corners, so. Donald Parham's awesome, but I'm not in the budget range of Donald Parham yet. Next up is a halfback that I have had my sights on for a long time, and I swear he just plays so much better than his overall. It's J.K. Dobbins. I'm gonna spend a lot on this J.K. Dobbins. But 5'10", 209, 85 speed, 86 excel. It's a lot of coins, especially out of how much budget I have. But I love this Dobbins. I gotta rock with him. Next up, I'll build my O-line with just base core elites, the cheapest that I can get. Ooh, that's actually a snipe. This is a really good price. 6,500. I got him. 81 Munoz for 6,500. It's actually really solid. At left guard for 5,350, we'll get Tyre Phillips. At center, 81 over Andre James. At right guard, Royce Newman. And that right tackle, I'm actually going to take a gold here. I'm going to go Jack Conklin once again. I believe we had him last episode. I'm just a little scared about my coin count. Now, I know I said I was going to skip out on fullback, but since we went so big on Dobbins, I think it will be important to have a solid blocking fullback for him. And I think Derek Watt is just the guy. He's 6'2", 234. That's a big boy. So he'll be lead blocking for J.K. Dobbins. Next thing I want to lock up is corners. Literally almost every single video, we could use Eric Stokes because he's that good. 4,000 coins. Look at those stats. You're going to see Eric Stokes a lot. Next up is Legereus Sneed once again. There are some guys that are just so good for the price that uh, you're going to see him in multiple episodes. Final corner, I'm going to go Pat Pete. Slower, but big. 6'1", 203. If I get torched over the top, you can yell at me. Now, we do need a free safety and a strong safety since my current strong safety is my user. Marcus May is a very good budget free safety. 83 speed, 6 foot. And strong safety, here's a card you guys have seen before. We're actually going to go with Steve Atwater, his base 79 overall. Still has 80 speed, 83 excel, and and he can still hit like a train, so. With 18,500 coins left, I want to see what the team looks like right now before I do anything else. I don't want to miss any position. So currently, we sit at a 75 overall, and I'm so glad I did this because I ju literally just now realized I don't have a quarterback. And I don't really want Brock Purdy in there, so this was a good call. Offense looks way better than last time. Munoz, Phillips, Andre James, Royce Newman, Conklin, Wanu Smith, Hollywood, Rashad Bateman, J.K. Dobbins. No quarterback right now. And on defense, defense we are D-lineless and we are linebackerless. I'm tempted to go big boy quarterback and then just budget out the rest of it. You know what's funny? I like all these guys, but I'm actually not going to do that. I feel like defense has won us so many championships. I know exactly who I'm going for. Big time rush, baby! It's rush hour. The 6 3 2, 25, 72 overall. Cooper Rush. That's my fucking quarterback, baby. Got the money suit on. I can do whatever I want. Literally whatever I want. Cooper Rush is my quarterback for the 160K episode. And by saving those coins there, we're going to be able to load up on some decent, not absolute god tier players, but some decent defensive players to fill in the gaps that we have. D tackle, I'm taking full Alonzo Fatakasi. The chances I pronounce that correctly are very low. At left end, I'm taking Dietrich Wise. At right end, for 2,000 coins, I actually love Leonard Williams. Odafe Owe being this cheap is so awesome. 6'5", 257, 77, 78. He's not the best of all time, but that's so cheap for a very good good outside linebacker. In fact, our budgeting was so good here that I'm going to be able to get an elite left outside linebacker. Not sure who I want at the moment, but 8,550 coins. All I need after this is a middle linebacker. How good is CJ Mosley? 79, 81, 75 block shed. I actually like CJ Mosley here, which leaves me with 1,650 for a middle linebacker. Keeping in mind, I'll only use that middle linebacker if I'm not in nickel, which may happen, but it doesn't happen all that often. But at 1,000 650 coins we're gonna be able to pick up joel iggy biggy bagaboo 77 speed 78 excel strength is piss poor but i'm gonna go with it and i'm still bred it up because i got 550 just sitting there i'm so bred up i'm not even gonna use it bro i'm so i'm so rich i'm not even gonna use it all right let's generate the best lineup and see what the end result of this team looks like all right, i might have chapped their overall a little bit by going cooper rush but still 78 overall team and i really like it the reason i went cooper rush not just for the memes is straight
straight up, I don't think it matters. If there's any position you can still throw darts with, it's actually quarterback. And I respect that. I mean, shit, I, I got a wheel in my Super Bowl with Zach Wilson. Like, you don't, you don't, you can't sit here and tell me I need a 91 overall quarterback. Bateman's going to beat man coverage. Marquise is going to beat man coverage. That's super well, but they can do it. Dobbins can run the ball super effectively. So I'm very excited about that. John, who should be good, he'll be able to outrun some linebackers. Defensively, I love our, I love our secondary. You know, J. Ron Curse is awesome. Sneed. We're good there. D line looks solid. Middle linebackers will get the job done, and J. Ron Curse will come in for nickel, and then Steve Atwater will be our true strong safety. Loving this team. We're 78 overall. How balanced is it? Are we 78, 78? 78 offense, 77 defense. All right, let's talk about abilities. Obviously, Cooper Rush can't get one. I think J.K. Dobbins is an obvious recipient of an ability here. I'm going to go freight train on him for his X Factor if we can activate it, and, and I'll go recuperation. I expect him to carry a lot of the workload, so let's feed that man. Rashad Bateman as well. I'd love to give him double me. He isn't really the double me type of wide receiver in my opinion, but I mean, if he activates it, I don't care. I'll throw him the ball. And I'm going to give him Homer. We get the home stadium. I can activate double me a little bit easier. And Janu Smith, you know what's crazy? After doing my Krishna Koye video, I've become like a very big fan of Vanguard. Dominantly win impact blocks. I'm going to try it. We'll put Vanguard on him, see if he can activate it. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go closer, reduce zone objectives in the second half. So in the second half, hopefully we can get Vanguard activated and start running the ball like a monster. Now on defense, J. Ron Curse for sure is getting an ability. I'm going to give him Zone Hawk because if I can lurk one time, that will activate. And I'm also going to give him Recuperation. The Jarius Sneed universal coverage for sure. He actually activated this last game. I'm going to give him Closer as well. I want the whole team. I want the whole team lit up in the second half. And Patrick Peterson. I want to give him universal coverage too and closer as well. Episode number three of Double or Nothing. A win here takes us to a 320,000 coin team builder. And we're going to start snowballing like crazy. We've got 320,000, 650,000, 1.3 mil, 2.6 mil, 5.2 mil. By the way, you guys know how I love geology. They've been my go-to personalized skincare company for a couple years now. So I love partnering with them, but I'm insanely excited about their newest product. I've got it right here. This is Geology's co-wash. And I said the same thing you're saying, which is what is a co-wash? It's not a shampoo. It's not a conditioner. It's not a two-in-one. This is a specially formulated cleanser that cleans your hair without stripping it of its natural oils. Now, what that really means is no more bad hair days. You know how some days you get up and your hair is amazing after a shower and other days you cannot get it right? I've been there many times. That's because when shampoo strips your hair of oil that it needs, it leads to those few days of battling your hair to try and make it look good. So instead of doing that, I want you guys to try out Geology's Co-Wash. It'll keep your hair clean and healthy without damaging it in the process. And of course, if you're over at Geology anyway and you haven't picked up their award-winning skincare trial, highly recommend that as well, which I can get you a discount on both of. So you can click the link below to get 30% off the Co-Wash. But not only that, just for the boys, they're also throwing in a 70% off skincare trial to celebrate. So again, literally just click that link and enjoy the rest of the video. Dobbins, Curse, Janu versus Keyshawn, Randy Herbert. A jet pass to the tight end? That's kind of shit I like. Let's go, baby. Oh, he's there. Hey, sort of. Nice tackle. Does he have inside stuff? He does. He's got the Derek Brown with inside stuff. It's going to make things difficult for me, but big daddy rush. I'm going to go Dobbins here. Let's just pick up what we can. Try to make this a manageable fourth down from the 27-yard line. I like Bateman here, actually. And I like Janu, but let's look at Bateman first. Oh, he's on it. No, Bateman's there. Is he? What a catch! Oh! Rashad Bateman! He's tired! He's limping! And he's in! Rashad Bateman! On fourth and 13 from our own 21. I am going to go for two here. I'm going to look for Janu on the out route. In fact, Dobbins is open. Ooh, I still like that. Let's go. Cooper Rush. Perfect game thus far. He heaves one deep. Oh, Atwater, we got to come down with that. All right, I'm going to go on Marcus May here. Ooh, I'm not nickel. Damn, let's talk about being a nickel. Very much not a nickel. Nice ball. We need a big hit, big hit, big hit. Let's get that lurk. Wait for it, wait for it. Right here, right here, right here. Let's go. I'm going to bait 81. He's going to throw 81. Wait for it. There it is. Throw it. Oh! 
God, you make it too easy. And that right there, see that animation where he jumped like that? Linebackers will not do that. Oh, is Bateman open again? Ah, he was. In fact, a lot of things are open. And I missed all of them. I like Dobbins underneath here. I don't think he see. Ah, he does see it, but just not enough. Come here. Dobbins. I like this. I like this stretch here a lot. Yeah, he's pinching the middle, probably blitzing up the middle. Oh, wait, he might have guessed that perfectly. I'm looking for Bateman here on the play action. Mm, he was open. I'm going to send Janu across his face, so hopefully Dobbins gets open. Janu's open. Oh, big time booper, Bush. What are you doing? Turn 10, you know what? This guy's not like Tony Stark. He doesn't learn from his mistakes because Rashad Bateman's about to be open. Yes, sir. Oh, what a ball. You say poor accuracy, I say best ball placement you could have had. You spent 35 bandos on J.K. Dobbins. We better get that money's worth out of him, right? Let's go half back stretch left side. Let's cut this up the middle. Oof, two got to me, second and eight. I like how that run's set up, though. I believe in you. Ooh, way to cut that up, J.K. I'm gonna go right at the weak side. I think he expects right side, so I'm just gonna send it. Oh, he dove early! Come on! Let's go, Dobbins! Now I'm gonna hit him with tight end attack. Go, Bateman. Go, Bateman. I'm going at his... Yup! Oh! He's in man coverage. I'm going Bateman on a slant. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, his user's there. Uh-oh! Still got him! Juke right! Ooh. Ooh, is he offsides? No. Janu. Janu. Touchdown. Janu! End zone! He's up! Absolutely. And he's in! Meet me at the goal line! He might quit. That's always what I'm worried about. I hate playing so well that I don't get to see the end, the end stats, you know? He's usering that. Do you think he can user a whip route? Look at that. Look on the left side. He's he's expecting the slant. There's the whip route. Nope. <laughs> J-Ron Curse, X Factor lit up. Ooh, he's really testing Sneed. I'm gonna go man coverage. I actually really like how our team's playing right now. I just gotta get the halfback. Got him. Oh my god, he's just taking a shot. Might have blitzed someone I wasn't supposed to. Ooh, I blitzed the corner. Oh, thank. You know what? I'm just gonna do it again. He's not even gonna throw it. He's too spooked. Oh fuck, he sees it. Oh, that's a, that's not the throw you want there. Cooper Rush owns you. That's just a cheek clapping. It's gonna be like that sometimes, boys. You know what? I do want to see a little bit more out of this team. They played so well. A super take on college OT. No kicks or special teams. And 15 plus yard TDs are worth 14 points. Outscore your opponent to pick up the sweet W. Let's see Cooper Rush just take over. And we'll call it a day on this video. Let's lock up. He's just fucking tossing one. The Jerry Sneed is so good. I'm gonna bait the tight end. Throw 87, I dare you. Or halfback. You're, you're boxed no matter what. Boxed. Got him! Oh, he fumbled! And he's gonna get it. Hey, third and 39, though? I don't mind that. What can he throw? No way. No, no, not like this. Let's go! Everybody's in trouble now. My 160K team can take it to anybody. This defense looks like J.K. Dobbins is gonna feast. Whoa, what play did I just run? I completed a pass on that. What the fuck did I just run? RPO zone alert Omaha? Dude, I did not mean to. I thought I audibled the inside zone. Dobbins is gonna fucking feast on this defense, bro. Same shit. J.K. Dobbins. Let's go, buddy. Come on now. Come on now. Good juke. Oh, it's so close. If I could pull the keeper with bleeper blush game oh he ran commit dobbins doesn't care first and 20 where's the user on a d lineman he's coming in hot though john who makes a big catch he's got javon holland shag barrett tremaine atwater fanga sauce gardner all right it's not like too good of a team but it's a pretty good team another rpo oh my god hard cut oh i hard cut a little bit too hard that was a nice play though if dobbins fights through this effectively i'm gonna get this touchdown right here Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, Janu. Hey, oh. yo, what the fuck? Cooper finally sold. Wait, that was actually a sell. That was a touchdown. That's all right. He can make up for it right here. Ooh, Dobbins. <gasps> Does he? Fourth and goal. I think Janu's got to be our guy here, right? <sighs> Fucking user. User D lineman just flying off the edge. Damn, we sold. There, there are no special teams though, so we keep him out of the end zone. We haven't sold quite yet. He's got Tebow back there. I think he wants to look at his tight end. I think he's looking at his tight end right now. Ah, oh, that's what I love to see. That's what I love to see. That's what I love to see. Make a bad though. <gasps> no way I beat you like this. Oh, I needed that blocker to get out. I actually needed to slow down, wait for my blocker. It's still a game though. Here we go. This is a similar look. Mine. Mine. At water. Guys, his ass. <laughs>
No way! Don't you dare! <gasps> it's giving me the ball. <laughs> he gave me the ball! Let's go! You gotta love that. That twist of fate right there. Hand off to Dobbins. Sheesh. His defense is good, though. Very defensive matchup here. I got Jonu Smith for a reason. It was to beat man coverage. And he just keeps sending man coverage, man coverage. Oh, he's on Javon Holland. He knew exactly what I was doing. I'm going to send Jonu across this. Oh, look at Dobbins. Great route. Get around Atwater. Great block. Get through him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Dobbins. Does he overcommit? No, he doesn't. Hard cut. Oh, it's so close. Great run, Dobbins. Third and goal. <laughs> Magic. Dobbins is in! That's what we spent it on, baby. That's game. Holy shit, what a game. Love my 160K team. Good work, boys. Hey, GG's to all my opponents. Great episode of Double or Nothing. And next episode, we'll be back with 320,000 coins. And my goal is at least an 81 overall team. That'll be so fire. All right, boys. Hey, I love you. Thanks for watching, as always. I'll see you in the next episode or just the next video. Most a lot of heaters right now. Appreciate you, boys. Thanks for watching. Peace.